Hello and welcome. My name is Melissa Peterson and today we will be going over the check-in customer screen. The button for the check-in customer screen can be found at the top navigation bar as well under the auction day section of the Easy Navigator. This screen is mainly used for checking in customers on the day of the auction. However, there are some advanced options that you might use in other circumstances. To find these options, click on the advanced button on the left hand side. In here, you can import customers from an Excel spreadsheet, import alternate bids from an Excel spreadsheet, auto clerk this auction using all bids, and email all the all bid results. These options are used when you're using a, a different bidding platform other than high bid. You can import the customers and the bid information, clerk the auction, and create invoices to keep everything in one centralized location. In the screen, you can also create a phone bid schedule, check in all customers from a previous auction, and check in all customers with a reserved bid card number. For this tutorial, we're going to mainly be focusing on checking in new and existing customers. Within AuctionFlex, you have the option to have the system give the next available bid card number and print the bid card number for you when checking in a bidder, or you can enter in the bid card number of the pre-printed bid card into the system. To set the setting, you will go to Auction Setup and check or uncheck auto number bid cards. For this demo, we're going to leave auto number bid cards checked. What this will do is when I check in a bidder, the system will find the next available bid card number, assign it to that bidder, and then it will print the bid card for me. Once this is set, go ahead and close the door to return to the check-in screen. The next thing we want to do is select the bid card we'd like to auto print. We're going to do that by clicking on the bid card button on the left hand side. From here, I'm going to select my bid card using the drop down. I'm going to make sure automatically print bid card on bidder check-in is checked. And then I'm going to leave prompt for printer on first print only checked. What this means is when I check in my very first bidder, it will prompt me for which printer I'd like to print to. Every bidder after that will automatically have their bid card printed to that same printer. Now we're going to go back to the check-in customer screen and we're going to actually start checking in a customer. Generally, the button you're going to be using in this screen is find by name. Within this pop-up, you can enter in first, last, or company and partial names. So I'm going to be looking for Brandon Harker. I'm just going to enter in Hark and then click OK. It found a Brandon and a Lara Harker. I'm going to go ahead and double click on Brandon to select him as the bidder I'd like to check in. It will bring up his customer record. And here I can edit the address or email or phone number or any information in the screen that might not be correct. As you can tell, he has an alert. He previously wrote us a bad check and now we're only accepting cash. In this screen, you can also double click on this box over here to take a picture if you have a webcam attached to your computer. This picture will pop up at check-in as well as check-out. Once all of this information is correct, go ahead and close the door on the bottom right to save the form and exit. And again, you can see that that alert popped up. I'm gonna go ahead and click yes to proceed to check him in, checking him in. The system checked him in under bid card number nine. I'm gonna click OK. Now it's gonna ask me what printer I'd like to print to. I'm gonna select it from the drop down, and then click OK. And it went ahead and printed my bid card for me. Now if you have a new, brand new bidder has never attended your auction before, you'll be using the new customer button. This button will bring up the customer record screen where you can enter in the new bidder's information. When you get to the city state zip, if you enter in a zip code that has already previously been used and then click tab, it will enter in the city and state for you. You can finish filling in the rest of the information. And then once all that is entered in, go ahead and close the door on the bottom right. And again, the system checked him in under big, uh, the uh, next available bid card and printed the bid card number for me. The other options you can use to find a bidder is find by phone number. And again, it's going to bring up the information and check in that bidder. 
or find by reserve bid card number. If you have a reserve bid card number, you can come in here and enter in the bid card number that you assigned that bidder. It will give a brief synopsis of the bidder's information. If that's the correct customer, you're just gonna click yes, and the system will bring up that information. Again, close the door, and we'll check in that customer for you. Another nice option within the screen is using the scan driver's license option. Within AuctionFlex, we integrate with a couple different driver's license scanners. One is a magnetic stripe driver's license scanner, and one is a two-dimensional barcode driver's license scanner. For this demonstration, we're gonna be using the two-dimensional barcode scanner. If you have a driver's license scanner connected to your computer, within the check-in customer screen, you will click scan driver's license. You will scan the driver's license using the equipment that you have, and then click OK. If the customer has not yet been to your auction before and is not in your customer database, you will get the message that there's no customers found. Would you like to add one? You can click yes. And as you can see, it entered in all of my information for me. The only thing you would need to enter in here is an email address and a phone number. Once all of this information is entered in, you can go ahead and close the door and we'll check in that big card for you. I'm gonna go ahead and remove myself from this auction so you can see what it looks like when an existing bidder is checked in using the driver's license scanner. So now that I'm in the system, I'm gonna go ahead and click scan driver's license and again, scan my driver's license. And because I'm already in the system, it's gonna again pop up a brief synopsis of my bidder information. I'm gonna click yes verify all of this is correct, close the door, it will check me in under the next available bid card number. That was a brief tutorial over the check-in customer screen. For more tutorials, please visit our website at auctionflex.com. Thank you for joining and have a great day.